To reschedule a recurring appointment via the Select Patient tab, click the Select Patient tab and then access the patient who needs their recurring appointment rescheduled. Once that patient has been accessed and any pop-up messages or notes have been acknowledged and dealt with, click the Scheduled Appointments tab. This will display all appointments that are scheduled for the patient. Highlight the appointment you wish to reschedule and then click the Reschedule button. In the Reschedule dialog, you have the ability to configure the parameters under which you are rescheduling the appointment. The Recurrence option determines whether you want to reschedule only the occurrence highlighted or the occurrence highlighted as well as all future occurrences. The former option will only reschedule the currently highlighted appointment, while the latter option will allow you to reschedule the currently highlighted appointment as well as any future appointments in the recurrence group. The Reschedule Appointment option determines whether you want to reschedule the appointment now or later. If you select later, the scheduled appointment will be taken out of the schedule and be placed in the Reschedule Appointments queue. The Rescheduled By option allows you to configure who is rescheduling the appointment, the office or the patient. The Reschedule Reason option allows you to configure a reason why the appointment needs to be rescheduled. Additional reason codes can be added via the Code Tables area. After the reschedule information has been configured, click the OK button. If you are rescheduling later, the system will take the appointment out of the schedule and place it in the Reschedule Appointments area, and there is nothing further you need to do. If you are rescheduling now and you selected the This Occurrence option in the Recurrent section, you will be taken to the Schedule Appointment tab and can reschedule that appointment in a similar manner as you rescheduled a non-recurring appointment. If you are rescheduling now and you selected the This and All Future Occurrences option in the Recurrent section, you will be taken to the Appointment Recurrence screen. The appointments to be rescheduled will be listed in the Appointments to be Rescheduled section, and you have the ability to set the parameters to reschedule those appointments. The Appointment Options section will default the information from the previously scheduled appointments. Similar to when scheduling a recurring appointment, you can configure these options. In the Appointment Time section, you can configure the patient's start and or end time preference and or the duration for the appointments in minutes or hours. In the Recurrence Pattern section, you can select when the appointment should recur daily, weekly, or monthly and specify the details of that selection. In the Recurrence Range section, you can select the data range for the recurring appointments or you can select the number of appointments after which the recurrence should end. Once all of the options have been selected, a summary of the options selected will appear at the bottom left. If everything is correct, you can click the search button. The system will list the applicable appointments in the New Appointment Dates section, along with any conflicts. Any conflicting times will not be checked for rescheduling. You can check or uncheck the appointments as needed, and then click the Reschedule button. A summary of the appointments being scheduled will appear. Click the OK button to continue. The selected appointments will then be rescheduled. Any appointments not selected will appear in the Remaining Dates to Schedule section in the Schedule Appointments screen. You can reschedule these appointments as needed by highlighting the applicable appointment in this section, highlighting the applicable time slot or slots, and then clicking the Schedule button. Do note, however, when you schedule these appointments from this area, they will no longer be associated with the recurring appointment group. When finished, you can click the Select Patient button.